Reno Police Chief Mike Pullman is pretty happy to be hiring 10 officers during this downturn in the economy through a federal COPS hiring recovery program grant. Well, it's very significant. I'm, I'm obviously uh, the federal government, and we, we certainly want to thank uh, Senator Reed here from Nevada because he was a big proponent of, in this stimulus package, of not having to have a match for the cities, which was very big because we didn't have money to keep the personnel on board, so where would we come up with money to do a match? And so he pushed forward not to have to have a match for this program. For us, we've lost a number of uh, personnel, not in the sense that we've had to lay anybody off, but through retirements and just natural attrition, we have, we're down 18 officers, 18 sworn positions. And that makes it very difficult uh, to provide the level of policing that we want. So these 10 extra officers really help out tremendously. The grant to hire 10 officers stipulates that the officers must work in the community-oriented policing program at the police department. Pullman plans to train the officers for the motel interdiction team, the community action program, and a footbeat. The city's police department is known nationally for its program that gets officers in neighborhoods working with residents to solve problems. Reno residents even pay more taxes than unincorporated county residents for the service. Well, I think it is something that goes back over 100 years because the, the community of Reno decided over 100 years ago that it wanted to have its own police department. And the reason it did is that they wanted to have more interaction of officers within the city itself that knew and understood what the citizens of Reno wanted. And so that tradition is really held for over 100 years for the Reno Police Department. Community Action Officer Mike Guider knows firsthand how successful community-oriented policing can be. One of his beats is the Oliver Montello area. It has been an uphill battle to take back the park, which was a haven for drug deals and other criminal activity. He has been part of a comprehensive effort to clean up the area so kids can play here again. Obviously with, with Pat Baker Park in this area here, um, it was more of, a, when we first started, it was more of an aggressive police style. Um, a lot of walking, um, walking with code enforcement Alex Woodley, um, a lot of walking and getting to know the, uh, the neighborhood. Um, finding out what problems were here because um, anyone can pick up the phone and be driving by and call us and say there's something going on here. The city recently added new playground equipment to the park which is helping to bring back pride to this neighborhood. I think that's your landmark. This park is very special to this community. Um, a lot of uh, the older uh, generation, they're still here and they built this park. So for it to be now, I call it a little spruced up with the, uh, with the, uh, the new play equipment they're, what, they, what they have seen over the last 20 years, they don't see anymore. Now they see kids getting out of school, coming over here, and the noise that they hear, it's delightful to hear a kid um, smiling and laughing, and they're screaming about good things. Um, and I think that's, that's one of the things that they, uh, this community has taken and said, oh, there will not be any illegal, illegal activity going on at this park because they're going to call and they're going to be the first ones to come out. Anything that goes wrong, they're going to be on the phone and they're going to come out. And actually, you know what, that, this is their park and they're taking it, they have taken it back. And that's what's, that's what's neat. The Obama administration's COPS hiring program allocated 18 police officers statewide. So it's a real testament to the quality of the city of Reno's community-based policing program that the city got 10 of those positions. Right now, the police department is doing background checks on applicants and plans to have a recruitment training program at the end of November or beginning of December.